Welcome to Unexpected Mini Mail number 5. Just some small packages today. Should be able to rip through this really quickly. Let's get going. Okay, I'm going to start off with this. This is Expansion Board Module. So I cannot believe that I've chosen to do 3D print more things during my mail video again. I have to stop doing that or coordinating things a little bit better. So this is a little Peltier heater cooler. TEC1 4905. Wow, that's actually quite cold right now. So this is a device that you can either cool down or heat up depending on the polarity that you wire up the cables. I actually ordered this to try out in my coffee warmer, my fake one, my RGB coffee warmer, to see whether I could actually transfer enough heat to heat up my coffee. So I'll have a play with this at a future time, but that's pretty cool. That's solid ceramic something. Cool. Next, we have other electronic components. Other, okay. I do not know what this is, but it's packed pretty well. It's packed very well. Okay, so what is this? I know what this is. I have not seen one of these before, before buying it anyway. This is, is that sealed twice? It is. This is a little colored OLED. It's 0.96 inch, it's 80 by 60 RGB. How cute is that? So I do have another RGB OLED display that is a different aspect ratio than this. I've never seen this before. I've not seen the brand. I've not seen the chipset that it's using either. I'll put some information below about what chipset it's using because I cannot remember off the top of my head. I want to have a bit of a play with this, but how cool is that? A little colored OLED. Whoo! Okay, I'm looking forward to playing with that. Next, we have expansion board module. And it's tiny in the bag. Yes, it is a little... It's a little AVR programmer that was recommended to me as something that I could just use and hack and break to make a custom programming board. I can't remember who it was off the top of my head that recommended it, but I will put it in the little bar that appears on the bottom of the video. So this is just a little AVR programmer. It's a Micro Pro AVR Dude, AVR Duduino, Tiny ISP version 2.1. And I'm gonna use this to actually make a custom programming board for my AT Tinies that has pogo pins, it has AVR connector, it's going to have a, a DIP8 socket and it's going to have a connector that I can put my um, SOIC8 adapter in as well. So it's, yeah, there's going to be one programmer that handles any combination of what I want to plug into it. I'm looking forward to putting that together. I will do that either on a live stream or I'll make a video of my progress on that. Okay, we have terminals. This is quite a thick bag. I think I know what it is though and I've been waiting for these. For a while, yes. These are coloured, more coloured, for rules. Excellent. Again, these are designed to go on the ends of my cables for my Reflow Master, amongst other things. I've got different colours on purpose. Reason being is I have a set of red and black for positive and negative. I have a set of red and yellow for the thermocouple and then I have some blue ones because they look cool. Excellent. Two more to go. I see. It's not really an IC, but I know what's inside it because I can feel it. This is a strip of one microfarad caps. Or are they 0.1? Hmm. You'll find out in a moment because I can't remember because I've ordered so many different caps. These are 0.805 caps. I believe they're 0.1 microfarad caps because I go through stacks of them. Okay, lucky last. This is five pieces. Five pieces? Doesn't sound right. MCP 23017. Could be. I didn't think so. Pretty sure I ordered 10. Let's see how many we got. Okay, yeah. Cool, we've got 10. Five there and five there. So these are for the segment displays that I'm doing with Mr. David Watts. Check out the video link just around or there. And I already had 10 of these, I've now got 20 because I've got 20 boards on the way and I'm going to make 20 boards available on Tindy. I have no idea if I'm going to do more than 20, but I've got enough parts to make 20, although I'm still waiting on more Cobb LEDs. And once they arrive and my Revision 2 boards come in, I will put some together to show how they work and then I'll put some on Tindy. Okay, that's it folks. 
that is another unexpected mini mail this I'm looking forward to playing with color OLED display it's very very cute maybe a little ESP32 game console thing with a tiny colored screen you never know anyway catch you next time bye